St. James Park, Newcastle, Liverpool beat 10-man Newcastle United 2-0 to move to within six points of the S-top four with a game in hand. Darwin Nunez gave the visitors the lead with a thumping finish in the 10th minute, and Cody doubled the Reds' advantage just seven minutes later. Things then got even worse for Newcastle as goalkeeper Nick Pope picked up a straight red card for handling the ball well outside his penalty area. Even though it was a man down, Eddie Howe's side threatened to have the deficit, with Dan Byrne coming closest when he hit the crossbar shortly before the break. Winners Darwin Nunez, before today, you had to go back seven games for Nunez's last goal, his equalizer in the 2-2 FA Cup draw with Wolves. And his drought in the was just as long, stretching back all the way to the 3-1 win over Southampton just before the World Cup. For a striker who seems to rely so much on confidence, this could be a huge moment, provided he's still fit to feature with his apparent shoulder issue. Cody, after he broke his duck for his new club in the Merseyside Derby, it was predicted that the dam might burst for. His goal here will only add to those hopes. This week will have transformed his mood. Alison Becker, he should nt have been Liverpool's player of the match vs 10 men, but without him, his team might have slipped up in a somewhat embarrassing fashion. There's no doubt that he's been the most important figure in the side this season. Loser Joe Gomez, Liverpool gave up far too many chances here given that it was playing against 10 men, and Gomez was perhaps the most culpable. He's not done enough to hold on to his place in the team when Ibrahima Konate returns from injury. Player ratings Alison Becker, 9 tenths It could have been a very different game had Alison not denied Miguel Almiron with a vintage close-range stop at 0-0. Once again, a long ball downfield from the Brazilian to rot havoc, leading to the red card for Pope. Allison then preserved Liverpool's 2-0 lead with excellent saves from Alan St. Maximin and Callum Wilson. Trent, 8 tenths The narrative of struggling against St. Maximin was pre-written but the right back made sure his attacking contribution was in the spotlight instead. A superb pass to Nunez for the opener makes it four assists in eight matches. Joe Gomez, 6 tenths Gomez nearly produced an assist of the season contender when he lobbed a ball in behind four, but the Egyptian's touch was too heavy. You would have expected better defensively, as mentioned above. Virgil van Dijk, 6 tenths made his first start since the 3-1 defeat at Brentford on January 2, but didn't necessarily shore up Liverpool's defence. Andy Robertson, 7 tenths tried to set up for a tap in after he got in behind but some would say he was too generous and should have shot himself. Should definitely have had an assist when he played a perfect cross to Diogo Hoda late on. Jordan Henderson, 6 tenths Henderson helped Liverpool string together some important spells of possession before he came off on 60 minutes. 6 tenths was booked for a late challenge on Anderson in the first half. Stefan, 7 tenths was caught in possession in his own half by Almiron early on but he then helped to snuff out the opportunity. He received the ball with a sublime Thiago-esque turn in the lead-up to the second goal. Another impressive hour or so for January's Player of the Month. Cody, 8 tenths made it two goals in as many matches by prodding home just before Pope got to the ball, and maybe should have had another with an unmarked header from a free kick. 
Klopp brought Firmino on in his place with around half an hour left. Mohamed, 8 tenths assisted S goal with a perfectly weighted dinked ball through, though he should have played Nunez in on goal as they launched a two-man counter later in the half. Will have been frustrated not to score in the circumstances. Darwin Nunez, 8 tenths Nunez has been mocked for some loose first touches but there was nothing wrong with his control here as he brought down S with a aplomb and emphatically lashed it past Pope. Cut inside from the left and forced a good save from Martin Dubrovka shortly before he came off. Substitutes James Milner, 6 tenths a couple of key interventions as Newcastle threatened. Roberto Firmino, 5 tenths gave the ball away carelessly a couple of times after coming on. Harvey Elliott, 6 tenths Dubrovka comfortably caught one of his efforts from outside the box. Fed Robertson at the end of a fine move. Diogo Hoda, 5 tenths had 4, yes, 4 chances to end a goal drought stretching back to April 2022, two of which he will rue in particular. He put a point-blank header wide and couldn't generate enough power after going around the goalkeeper.